Hi there, I'm Scott Hall with Morose Performance, and thanks for joining us today for this very special episode of Morosa Television. What we're going to show you today is a first. We've gone and taken the Moroso 23900 3 quart accumulator, and for demonstration versions, we've built a clear version. So now you can see firsthand exactly what's going on in this accumulator to help protect your engine. For drag racers and road racers, it'll always help maintain your oil volume and pressure under race conditions. And for you classic car owners, your car sat around for a while, with a Moroso accumulator, you can pre-lube that engine before you first start it, reducing any wear that can happen on an engine that sat around for a long time. By the time we're done today with this video, you're not only going to know why it was a great decision to buy your Moroso accumulator, but exactly how it's working and what's going on inside of it. So hang tight with us and watch the next couple minutes of video and you too are going to know why a Moroso accumulator is one of the best investments for your race car engine and street rod. We're going to start off by showing you exactly how your accumulator will work the first time you hook it up. Now in this case we have a three quart accumulator that we have hooked into this on the post side of the oil filter. You can do it on either side as long as it's seeing oil pressure coming from the oil pump. And what we have over here is a gauge on the end of it with a Schrader valve. Now what we've done is we've put about 10 PSI worth of pressure known as a pre-charge into the system. And what the pre-charge does, it'll put 10 PSI on the back side of this piston. So once the piston moves, once we start losing oil pressure, we have something to drive that piston all the way to the very end to the closed position. So the pre-charge rate will determine two things, how fast that piston is going to get driven and as you will see later, exactly how much this accumulator will fill with oil. Typically, the higher the pre-charge, the less distance the piston will travel, the less oil in it, but the faster it'll dump the oil load into the motor. The less pre-charge, the farther the piston will move, the more oil that'll fill it, but the slower the dump rate will be. So, what we've done is typically there is a on-off valve that comes with these, which we don't have on here. There's either an on-off valve or the Moroso 23905 electric solenoid, which will hook up to your ignition system. So you can either activate this manually or by turning on your ignition or a preset switch in your car. So now that we've set this and we've got this ready to go, we've got our accumulator pressure, which is going to show us our pressure of exactly what the accumulator is creating into the engine. And here we have engine oil pressure, or what we're going to consider to be is basically what the oil pump is making for pressure based on what oil is in the oil pan. So now that we've pre-charged it, we have this all set to go, let's go and start this car up. So we have our open line ready to go, our 10 pound pre-charge. Now we're going to activate this, and here we go. Now obviously you can see this thing slowly fill up, and this is what would happen when you start your motor up. Based on our 10 pound pre-charge, we can see our piston is just about in the middle, about a quart and a half of oil. This is a three quart accumulator, but the accumulator is only going to be about half full, possibly another quart on your line going to your oil filter or your block, depending on the length and the size of the line you're using. But well, this is basically what you're going to see. You're going to see both gauges are showing equal pressure, which is showing us we got oil pressure, and our accumulator are all seeing the same thing because they are tied into the whole system. So now we're going to start showing you exactly what your Moroso accumulator is doing to protect your engine. Okay, the first thing we're going to show you with the accumulator is how people use it to actually pre-lube their engine. So you got to imagine that the last time we ran this car, when we went to shut it off, we either activated in the off position our manual valve, or when we turned off the ignition, we shut off the solenoid, thus keeping this quart and a half of oil in the accumulator. So what we're going to do is we're going to pretend first thing in the morning, we're ready to start the car up. So you can see how much oil we have in this thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to simulate the engine not running not having any oil pressure in it and as we turn on the solenoid we're going to dump this oil and this is what's going into your engine before you start it up in the morning. So nice slow cold oil but it is going to the engine and you're dumping all this in there. So now when you go to start the car up you're simply once you watch the oil pressure drop because it's going to create oil pressure on your engine oil pressure gauge we're now going to start the car up and of course we're now going to refill this thing. So once we fill this thing up, 
Now the engine's running, and again, the back side of this is always going to see exactly what the engine oil pressure and what the oil pump is making. Now we start the car up, we're on the track. Let's take the instance of a road racing car, for instance. We're going around the track and such, and we've got our good oil pressure going. Let's say we go into a long sweeping turn, and all of a sudden we're going to lose a certain amount of oil pressure because the oil's moved away from the pickup. Well, exactly what does the accumulator do? Well, when you watch the engine oil pressure drop, let's watch exactly how the accumulator keeps the oil pressure somewhat up, falling at a slow rate, but you're going to watch the piston slowly moving that oil into the engine and making up for the volume that's lost, not so much the oil pressure, but the volume that we're losing is going to be gained back by the accumulator. And then I'm going to close the valve off, which is going to simulate the oil pressure coming back up, coming off the turn down a straightaway, and we're going to see how it refills and maintains. So here we go. See our oil pressure drop? Now we can pick the oil pressure back up, and we see how it's just an even motion. Drop a little bit, come back up. And this is what's happening multiple times a lap in a road race car and even a little bit in a drag racing car depending on whether you're stopping from a burnout fast, backing up or such. These are the kind of things that are happening. But this accumulator is theoretically moving back and forth all the time. Okay. And this is the stuff that you don't see, but now we can actually show you how it's working. Now you can see for a long period of time, we're losing oil pressure, and our oil pressure is down a little bit. We can see how the accumulator is going to keep picking this thing up and giving it oil until it finally matches the pressure on the back side of the accumulator. Oil pressure is back up that the pump picked up prime, we're going to refill the accumulator. So this is what goes on constantly with your accumulator. And this is really the reason why you bought it, is to maintain the volume going to the engine. A Moroso accumulator comes through the most critical situations, and typically that is high RPM and we've lost oil pressure. In a road race car, we're going deep and hard into a turn, or in a drag racing application, we're going through the finish line, letting off the throttle with a parachute deploying. What happens? We lose oil pressure so fast that typically we can't catch it quick enough and we've gone and ruined the rotating assembly of our engine. With a Moroso accumulator, it'll give you valuable time to maintain a certain amount of volume to those critical components and keep your engine alive and happy so you can continue to keep racing on. But that's where the accumulator comes through and we're going to show you in a dramatic fashion exactly what's happening firsthand. We've got our engine oil pressure, we've got our accumulator pressure. We go into the situation that we were just describing, and here's what happens. We've lost all of our engine oil pressure. Now if you watch, the accumulator keeps putting in valuable pressure and oil volume into the engine to protect those critical components from getting burned up that could happen in milliseconds in any racing application. The most common tech question we get with the Moroso accumulator is, how much do I need to pre-charge the accumulator to? Well, we're going to finally explain to you not only how much, but maybe you're going to be able to determine exactly what's right for your application by actually showing you what goes on when you do pre-charge your Moroso accumulator. For this demonstration, we've had it about 10 PSI, which is a pretty common number that we tend to recommend. 7 to 10 is what we say. And what that's going to determine is, when this thing's filling up, how far that piston moves until we've equalized the air side with the oil side. So for demonstration, in more of a dramatic effect, I'm going to drop this accumulator pre-charge to about 5 PSI to show you what happens. We're down to about 5 PSI. Now I'm going to charge the accumulator, and you're going to see exactly how much it fills it up, and probably a lot more than we saw during the demonstration. For an easy reference, we are going to measure from the front edge of the accumulator to the first O-ring groove, and I've got 11 inches. So now we're going to discharge the air out of this. Now, with a regular tire chuck, I'm going to go over to the Schrader valve, and I'm going to put about 20 PSI in it. This will be on the higher side, but you're going to see the effect that this has on exactly how much oil the accumulator will fill up with. Okay, I've got 20 PSI in it now. Now we're going to charge it up again. 
you will be able to see firsthand exactly how much of a difference it makes on the fill rate of the accumulator. It's just about stopped and we're not even halfway. As a reference number, I'm at about eight and a quarter inches. So we're looking at close to about a half a quart difference just in the two different pre-charge rates. Now the big difference that's gonna occur is now that I've got a lot more air volume behind it, this thing is gonna discharge at a much faster rate because I've got a large amount of volume on the back side of it where with the lighter pre-charge there's a lot less air to expand and push that oil out therefore on a larger clearance engine typically less pre-charge will work because we don't need nearly as much air pressure to move that oil out on a smaller tighter clearance engine the higher pre-charge will work because we need more pressure behind it more volume expansion to push that oil out and fill the bearing clearances on that smaller motor. So you see firsthand the big difference that pre-charge does make. Ultimately determine how much it's filling the accumulator and how much extra oil you really need to put in your system to make up for what the accumulator is going to fill up with. So that's it. That's basically the ins and outs of how a Moroso accumulator works. We spent a lot of time and effort to put this together to be able to show you firsthand exactly what a Moroso accumulator does and show you why it's a phenomenal investment for one of the most important things in your life, your race car engine. Because obviously situations happen that we can't always catch a loss of oil pressure with or even a drop and that's why a Moroso accumulator is always there working for you. If you have any additional questions, please visit moroso.com or call the Moroso Tech Department and we can help you out. And thanks for spending a few minutes with us on this video.